Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello there. I am Almer Lazuar dari Brasalam, standing here as a finalist and as a delegation from MTSN One Banyuwangi. The juries, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen teenagers nowadays dancing in front of the camera vigorously without shame, showing off their bodies and doing something embarrassing in public in the names of getting likes in social media? Ah, yes, teenagehood, one of the most vulnerable part of our life. In this phase, people tend to seek their meanings of life, which is actually a good thing. But, on the other hand, if they are not being guided in the right way, they might stray from the right path and fall into promiscuity, which can lead them to many harmful things, such as free sex, drinking alcohol, or perhaps even drugs abuse. The teenagers who does all of those things will ruin their future and it will become dark and astray. We can't let that happen. Why? Because the future of this country depends on these teenagers. So, what is the right way to guide them? The answer is simple. Is love. Now, why Islam? Because Islam is dynamic. It can adapt itself to many circumstances, which mean Islam is flexible and works for everyone. Don't you think it's cool? No. Don't you want to know what is the reason why do so many teenagers fall into promiscuity? There are three main factors. One, parent. The role of a parent is truly important upon educating young generation to have an idealism of an Islam so that they can have a good morality, a shield to protect themselves from the temptation of promiscuity. Number two, education. Education is also important for young generation to teach them what's right and what's wrong. In this case, Madrasa has a big role upon educating young generation more about Islam so that they can have a good morality and strengthen their Iman. Number three, environment. Our environment is like a pool of water and we're just a drop of water. If we jump to the dirty water, we'll become dirty. But if we jump to the clean water, we'll become clean, even though we might have been dirty. In other words, our environment does matter because it can affect us to either be a good person or a bad person. The choice is yours. So, the question now is, what is the solution for this problem? Well, let me answer that question. There are many ways for these problems to cut our young generation and lead them to promiscuity. So, as a young generation, we must prepare ourselves because we can't let our bright future, our hopes, our dreams taken away by this terror. But how do we do it then? Alhamdulillah, our great Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a weapon to protect ourselves. It is Iman, Islam and Ihsan. With Iman, Islam and Ihsan, it can lead us to a better path that are far from darkness and suffering. If we believe in Allah and trust in Islam, we will be brought to a brighter future. Inshallah. We might not be able to stop all of those terror, but we can strengthen our weapon to protect ourselves from the temptation of promiscuity and other juvenile delinquency. Other than strengthening our weapon, we must also filtering the friend we befriended. If we're not careful enough, our friend can bring us to promiscuity. Befriend a Tafiz Quran and you'll be good at reading Qur'an. Befriend a drunkard, and you'll be like him soon enough. 
So, be smart upon choosing your friends, okay? We must also be careful upon choosing our environment. Try to find an environment full of positive people because they can lead us to the right path. For example, madrasa. It is not just because we go to a madrasa doesn't mean our talent is being limited. No. Instead, madrasa will improve and facilitate our talent and guide us with Islam. There's a lot of positive things in madrasa like reading the Quran together, praying together, learn more about Islam and other Islamic activities. And let me tell you, it's very fun and that's how a good environment should be. In madrasa, we are being taught on how to become a good Muslim and I'm especially grateful to have become one of the members of MTSN One Baniwangi and now standing here as a finalist. And now, the juries, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've reached the end of my speech. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to stay determined and trust in Islam. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey y'all, please support me and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this video because that means a lot to me. Thanks y'all.